Welcome to Carinci Resolve. My mission is to help editors create stunning masterpieces without spending in one pound or wasting endless hours with editing. And today I will show you how you can create this really cool lower ring car effect. So let's hop right into the Vinci Resolve. I have my clip right here. And that's just my color grade, don't worry about that. And basically what we want to do to create this effect is we want to mask the car without the wheels and then change the position of the car on the y-axis so it looks like the car goes down. To do that and to create the mask we first have to select our original clip and duplicate it. You can do that by holding ALT and dragging your clip up and deactivate all clips above by pressing D on your keyboard and select your second clip and mask it. You can do that by going to the color page and doing all the masking steps with the window tab. I already showed this type of masking in my recent tutorials. If you want to know how to do that, just watch one of my older tutorials. But I will do it this time with my preset that I created so I will quickly just do it like that but there's also coming a masking course soon so if you want to know how you can mask in the free version then stay tuned but for now if you mask your clip make sure that you leave the wheels out because we don't want to include them in our mask Your mask should look something like this and I will now track my mask. So I have my mask right here. My mask is a little bit off in the beginning but that doesn't matter because I want to create this effect on the end of this clip. But before we create this effect I will just make sure that the blur on the edges the mask blur is not so strong so I will just decrease it to 0.8 and then go back to the edit page select your mask clip right click on it and create new fusion clip if you do the masking in the color page you also have to do this step now select your mask clip and go into the fusion page to create this effect manually just import a transform node go to the frame where you want your effect to start for me this is right here then create a keyframe on the center position go a few frames further and decrease the y position just a little bit And I want this effect to happen all the way on the end so I will just leave it like that that's basically it you can now go back to the edit page and watch your effect but now we have the problem that you can see the original car from the original clip in the background to solve this problem I created a preset for you that you can get now for free. Just go to the link in the description, copy it, paste it into your browser and then you can download the preset. After you downloaded the preset just go to your download folder and double click the DRFX file. Then this window in DaVinci Resolve will open, just click on install. Now before you apply the effect, we just delete everything we did before in the fusion page. Then you can go to the effects library. Under effects, click on this little arrow so it expands. And then go to Carvinci Resolve. And here you should find the lowering car effect. If it doesn't appear, like here, then just quickly restart DaVinci Resolve. After you restarted DaVinci Resolve, it should appear in your effects library. To apply the effect, just drag and drop it onto your masked clip. Make sure your masked clip is a fusion clip. Close the effects library and in the inspector, if you select the clip, 
under effects you can see all the controls but without even doing anything and without even creating any keyframes you already have the effect but if you want to adjust it for example the car goes a little bit too low you can change the lowness right here make sure you only do small changes because they will have a big impact we'll just play around with the lowness a little bit until it looks good just like that and then you can also play around with the animation now it goes down on the in the end and it stays there but you can change it to a mirror then it goes up again you can invert the effect if you want and you can change the in and out animation after you adjusted that you can adjust the background glow effect this effect is there to hide the second car in the background but you can also create a new background with a generative fill tool if you want so you can deactivate this effect and then you can go to your original clip and just create a new background if you have the tools for that but if you don't want to do that you have the alternative by just activating this effect if your mask is a little bit cleaner then this effect will also look way better but you can also change the mask softness so it will hide the imperfections a little bit just like that and you can also change the mask visibility then this effect goes away and you only have the glow effect you can also change the source position of the light you can also change the strength so how far it should go i will leave it on the default and you can change the glow threshold and the glow strength and the glow size you can also change the glow color if you want i will just go for something like that i will now activate my color grade and that's basically the effect we have in the end if you like this tutorial and this preset then support me by clicking one of these buttons follow my other social media accounts or to watch some other tutorials that i created for more presets like and subscribe to this channel and i see you in the next one